Another year, another semester, and students at Rutgers Camden are tasked to work on their Just Community project. This group specifically were tasked to paint over a vandalized container in Pine Point Park, Camden. The students worked hard, removing the weeds and removing trash scattered around the container, but things didn't go so smoothly when they realized the paint they received was clumpy. Honor student Leo describes the struggle. You know, the paint, the paint failed on us. We thought we were getting actual paint, and we just didn't. So, I mean, we cleaned up the bushes. It was hard work. There's some really deep rooted stumps that took a lot of like three man strength. Look over there. Look, there's a man over there. Look at that. Look at that hard work. That's a, a blue collar worker right there. And when they thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. When they forgot the lock combination to the container that Dr. Westman gave them a few minutes before arriving there, and the container was swarming with atrocious insects straight from Australia. But that didn't stop them from giving up, and the students continued their journey positively, despite the whole world weighing down on them. I feel like this is a really great service project, you know. Just when you see Camden, you know, you don't want to see like a bunch of like graffiti or whatnot so i really like this service project because you know it allows us to make a cleaner community a better camden and yeah talk about the paint um the paint it was our biggest struggle you know we thought that um the materials weren't going to be our biggest issue but you know things happen but as long as we take a minor setback to a major comeback i feel like that's what's really important about the service project <laughs> so when they received a new batch of paint they went straight to work. The paint wasn't blue this time, and the white contrasted with the colors the students wore that day, but no struggle could keep them from completing the project. Each student worked simultaneously for maximum efficiency, so they could soon do a second layer of paint when it dried up. But although no one was tall enough to paint the top of the container, they persevered and did what they could. Yeah, I think what we All could right. do is um, use a ladder. So sadly, we did not bring a ladder today, and that was kind of disappointing of our leader. They didn't bring a camera to him. <laughs> Yo, but yeah, I feel like overall, right now, we're doing a good job. It's nothing else really except we'll probably wait for dry. Just a couple yeah. people that didn't show up, you know? Yeah, there was still a couple. You don't say that. <laughs> No. Okay, okay. Some people showed up late too. <laughs> <laughs> but still, they still somehow helped. Especially in the first time I yeah. wasn't here. They, they worked on the presentation. Yeah, they're working on the presentation. Okay. Currently, right now. As of right, right now, now I know I see live footage. <laughs> now he's pants. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have Trey here. And he's going to describe us our journey in this container white and whitewashing. Yeah, well, it's a bit of a rough start. It took us a while to eat get started all of our materials. The first day we couldn't even get some paint it still because we didn't have the right kind of paint. Uh, first day we still got a lot done and that was basically snowballed from there. Second day we too much paint this whole thing. I don't know, a couple hours. Now that we're all done. It took us like about 20 hours to do everything in total. Yeah. About 20 hours. Every coat, everything. And once they finished the first coat, they had to wait 30 minutes for the paint to dry to do a second layer. The students had fun, socializing and learning more about each other. Some of them sat alone by the water, but that didn't stop them from having fun and passing the time. They applied a second layer, and when they finished it was time to head home. They picked up their stuff and threw out the trash. They felt like they accomplished a major feat. But a new problem arose. The paint would not come off their hands. They washed their hands in a bathroom sink, but the paint simply would not wash off. You know, I was there when it happened. And we, we all tried washing our hands for 20 seconds FDA approved, but the paint just would not come off. We were scared that the paint would stay on our hands forever. Like, we were terrified. Like, I don't know what kind of paint this is. It's definitely an improvement from the paint that we got last time. But, my God, that was crazy. Like, like not like my hands are clean now. They're clean now, but at the time, it just would not come off. Like, there's no way soap and water would not be able to, to take off that paint. 
Like, it's crazy. 